I've come to know that every journey has some moments along the way that we look back on as like highlights. And the song Hangman came together when I met my friend and banjo player, Andrew. So we met at Franklin Fire Hall way back when. <clears throat> Old country, bluegrass, gospel. When I spoke to you, it was, I think we talked about like how many goal, what our goals were, right? And my right. goal was just to be able to write stories. I wanted to tell stories and yours was? Just wanted to express myself through the banjo. I would call Hangman uh, a bluegrass ballad is what I would consider it to be. Yeah, right. I think they also call those uh, <clears throat> like murder songs, yeah. old time murder songs. So we hung somebody in this song. Yeah, well, we didn't. There was an executioner. Right. We weren't involved. He's guilty, but he's trying to convince the hangman to let him go. However, uh, well, he's doing that by talking about the love he has for a woman. But you find out as the song goes along, maybe he wasn't exactly accurate about how much she loved him. Or maybe he was just using that as an angle to work the hangman. So where we're at, this is a corn crib behind me. It is a, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe 70 something years old. I talked to the farmer today and he said that it's at least that. And they used to store corn uh, in the husk and they would dry it out in here. It's a wonderful reverb chamber. And so we did a little bit of playing today. We, we recorded Hangman in it, but I think it gave a, a nice reverb, a nice warm sound to everything. So the reason we're on the farm, I work here from time to time, and uh, Andrew has come down a few times with his boy, and we walked around, we looked at the chickens, brought my kids down. Anyways, that's the farm. This is Hangman. We'll see how it turns out. Think of anything to add to that? I did a bunch of talking just to fill it in. Hey, <clears throat> you're more of a talker. Thanks. That's nice of you to say.
the lady seen 